really believe in what we're doing, what we've done, and to push that. Uh, <clears throat> You, you, you have to pay attention to what these people are doing in Washington or Lansing. Demand accountability and start at the local level. Start, start at your board of township supervisors or go to the county commissioners and just keep moving up the food chain and identify those in office who are going to do something for you. Okay? I mean, basically, we've seen the, the looting of our country in order to bring a country, the People's Republic of China, from the level of Biafra that they were at in 1970. Mm -hmm. So we've taken everything we've had and basically moved it to China, and now we're in a mess. Okay? Well, we, we didn't want, I mean, the, the average citizen who was in the middle class didn't want that. But some people on Wall Street and some people in Ann Arbor have benefited from doing this. So we have to say, okay, America first. Let's take care of our interest, okay? And if you're so concerned about eradicating poverty and stuff, how about going to an American Indian reservation and taking care of those people? They are Americas. They're indigenous Americans. They were born here, okay? Why are we worrying about what's going on in China? I totally and, agree with you there. And, and we have to stop the Chinese from taking the best that we have, the crown jewels. Okay. Like, like this MERV, multiply independent reentry vehicle, that we have in this box, okay? Have the Chinese now figured out how to put 10 warheads on their Trident missile that they tried to steal from us? It's time that we just say, no, and if you do it again, we're going to blow you up. Mm -hmm. And anybody who's going to be going over there and handing this stuff over to them, we need to, well, we, I guess we don't hang them anymore, but we need, to, we need to put them in front of a grand jury and determine whether or not what they're doing is a criminal offense. And the stockholders who are out there, who own GE stock, who own Walmart stock, who own the stock of all these other corporations that are selling us down the tubes, have to say, we're going to go to the board of directors meeting, or we're going to demand directors that support America, or we're going to sell your stock and let the Chinese buy it. Very good, very good. Uh, have we got uh, any other suggestions? Because I know that, um, that uh, uh, we are going to be having some interviews with other whistleblowers, some from the uh, University of Michigan and some from other places. And um, I think it's going to be very important that we, we bring, uh, we, we show that, you know, that there are other people there are other people that are getting involved and, and speaking out and that, uh, you know, uh, this, these are not isolated incidents here that we're talking about. And this is, this is going out on a grand scale uh, of, of these corporations uh, and these CEOs and, and these Board of Regents. And, you know, you had mentioned before that uh, this University of Michigan isn't the only one that's, that's giving this stuff away uh, to China. Uh, that, uh, that there's other um, universities that are involved, and uh, we need to determine whether or not these are criminal offenses. Well, it's reached a point where my professional colleagues in the former Warsaw Pact and the Soviet Union, which is now Russia, mm -hmm. say to me, are you guys asleep? What's going on? Don't you realize what could happen? And don't you remember, well, of course you didn't study it in your history, how the, the Mongol hordes came out of the East and invaded Western Europe several times during the past. And furthermore, I think it's time that we start talking Turkey among ourselves because by 2050, we're going to have a common foe. So let's learn us to get along together to deal with the rising problem of China. And of course, they have some, some blood on their hands from things they sold to the, the Chinese during the, the breakup period when they were desperate in desperate financial situation. And, and just to, to go back to the very first segment in my introduction here, we are making a distinction, a, a very clear distinction between Chinese as people, Chinese as, as human beings and, and the humanitarian needs of, 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 of people as people. Uh, and the, the selling out of America's jobs and America's uh, uh, national security, uh, these kind of things, there is, a, there is a definite line. So when we address the Chinese, we are addressing a communist nation. 
and, uh, and, and a power that competes with America and costs us money as we go through another arms kind of a, a, a race here or the potential for it. Uh, we are not talking about uh, our friends, you know, as I mentioned before. I've, uh, I've been an East Asian language and culture um, major at USC, and, uh, and, and I, I have an affinity for the martial arts. And so I've, I've had, uh, um, I, I love the Asian culture. And um, uh, however, on a, I, I don't want to sell out my, my, my own people and my own nation and my, my son's um, future to hand everything over to a different nation. I think that point is nicely addressed by a, a Chinese person who approached us at one of our demonstrations and he said to us, he says, you know the problem is the corporations who are exploiting both peoples in China and in America and we should go after that problem and solve it. Oh. That, that's, a, that's a great finale right there. Uh, Dr. Smith, do you have any further comments? I, I, think, I think that it is patriotic for you know, corporations and individuals you know, to look out for American interests. And I think that's what we're lacking is a sense that there is a patriotic duty of American corporations not to sell us out. And a duty for you and me and every American to uh, to to think about what this flag means to us and how and the number of people who have died for uh, for this country and to be willing to step out and uh, take the hits that these gentlemen have been taking as whistleblowers and to understand that that we have to stand up for something here that we can't be sitting on the sidelines anymore. Thank you very much for coming here to see this show, uh, Power Corrupts Again. Uh, there will be more. <laughs>